One of the projects that I've enjoyed doing most here on the DataBits channel has been record cutting. And I think my most popular video has been cutting records on solo plastic plates, or at least the base of a solo plastic plate. But these projects have brought other projects, and in this case, uh, a friend of mine that I have met through my DataBits channel has been Sam, and Sam has sent me some polycarbonate discs that he would like me to cut for him. And in this project, we're going to take his voice that's been recorded on a cassette and is now sitting in this cassette recorder here that you see on the left. That is the Denon drawer loading cassette player that I've reviewed recently. So we're going to play it on that and cut it onto one of these polycarbonate discs. Now, uh, Sam is from Cambodia. At least that's where his, his origin is of his family. So he is going to be singing a song on the tape to be played uh, through the recorder and cut into the disc. So let me first show you this polycarbonate disc here. And I've already done some initial test cutting on the edge here just to see what would happen. And I got some really healthy swarf from that, which is the, the string of plastic that comes off as you're cutting. And some cutting materials don't create a lot of swarf. And what I've noticed is that the ones that do create the swarf give you the most, uh, the best sound quality from the recording surface. Since it's been a little while since I've given you guys a tour of the record cutter itself, I just kind of review the, uh, the amplifier section here. You can see the headphone jack a little bit closer now as well as the microphone input and then the different selections there, radio, phono, record radio, record mic, and PA, public address. And then uh, this is your AM radio section here and you got a tuning dial and your volume and your tone. And then there's some indicator lights here that have never worked for me, even though I've replaced all the capacitors in this head unit, but it has been very reliable since I uh, originally put it together and, and got it restored. Here's the Montgomery Ward emblem right there in the middle there. And then of course the turntable section actually came off of a Recordio device and I've replaced the tone arm. This tone arm came off of a uh, Library of Congress uh, handicapped record player. And then over here is the cutting head itself. Give you kind of a close up of the cutting head best I can here. Now, if you find one of these units, they don't just work right out of the box and they have to be restored. There is a, some, there's a coil of wire within the recording head that has to be replaced. It has to be recoiled. But uh, in the middle, you'll notice that there's a little peg sticking up and that peg helps to hold the disc steady so that it doesn't slip under the weight of the cutting needle, okay? So that's kind of a review of, uh, of the unit itself. All it has inside of here is an on off switch, just motor on, motor off. And uh, if it was a more sophisticated model, like I had originally, you would have two speeds, 33 and 78. But in this case, only 78. So uh, let's go ahead and get the camera mounted and we will cut our record. All right, so we have everything set up. We've got the tone arm in the proper place. I have the cassette queued up and ready to go. Got my volume set correctly. Got my little mute plug in. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the motor. And we'll get her spinning and cutting. And then we hit play on the recorder or on the uh, cassette recorder. So you can barely hear a little bit of the music. So what I do is I use this paintbrush to keep the swarf away from the cutting head. It's kind of a messy deal sometimes. Now I don't know if this, the size of this disc is big enough to hold the entire recording. So when it gets to the middle and starts to slow, uh, well, not slow, but when it gets to the middle and I'm running out of cutting space, I'll go ahead and fade out the recording if he hasn't already stopped singing. I'm going to unplug the mute plug and kind of hear the music a little bit. 
the record made you can see the swarf here I'll hold it up to the camera so you can get a better look at that just a nice long string of uh, plastic there polycarbonate so now what we want to do is test our recording and see how it turned out so I'm going to switch it over to phono on the front here crank up the volume a little bit let's yep we have sound so here we go to see how well our recording sounds. And here's the disc as it has been recorded on both sides. Got that cool little pattern going on there as you turn or rotate the disc. So this is a double-sided, double-side recorded polycarbonate piece of plastic. Pretty neat, huh? Well, that will wrap up this video of the recording onto a polycarbonate piece of plastic. I want to thank Sam again for providing his voice for this project. And of course, the final product will be sent back to him as he supplies the material for the project. So please subscribe to the Database channel. Be sure and check out my previous video of the restoration of the Montgomery Ward record cutter. You can also check out the video of my Denon drawer loading mechanism, and that is a DRR M7 cassette recorder deck. All right, guys, signing out. We'll see you next time.